Susan started from light, then goes uh, darker, and you can see the first stroke is the lightest. So we have a reverse gradation from uh, uh, light to dark on the brush. And you can always uh, dip a little, uh, for every star, every fruit, you dip a little water, just a little water, yeah. Everyone, you can do that, yeah. The, yeah, no, no reloading, but uh, uh, you, it's okay to reload the water. Right, you got half uh, light, half, yeah, just keep doing that. Yeah, pay attention to the whole caster. Uh, yeah. Do it in three, perfect group. Yeah, I like that, it's a dark and a light combination. Uh, if needed, you can reload the dark, but uh, try to exhaust it first. <laughs> Just put the light in the right place. Yeah. I think it's a good idea to, to go um, light uh, against the dark, you know, next to the dark to contrast. But you can you don't have to do it one by one to one on one. It could be two dark, one light, you know, something like that. So far, so good. Yeah. The dark could be on the back of the light. Could also be in the front of the light. It's uh, called yin yang balance. In Chinese, it doesn't matter the lighting, but uh, dark and the light uh, help each other or complement each other, produce each other. In Taoist philosophy, yin and yang. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, try to overlap only like uh, one third, I would say, yeah. in most cases. It was still yeah, seeing some bleeding, but that's okay. Um, the stroke should remain on this uh, um, wet star shine. But if you paint wet in on wet completely, it will be a different phenomenon. So yeah, just paint uh, next to it. You can al uh, always reload with uh, water first. Water, a little water in the tip. Yeah. Right. Good. Yeah. I'm not even paying attention to the shape. No problem, just uh, practice. Yeah. We'll do the shape at last. It comes out pretty <laughs> natural. You can, you can have two casters combined, you know. So don't worry about that. You can reload the brush with dark, uh, just uh, entire brush uh, with, with dark gray. Then uh, dry the tip, dry the tip, dry the tip with a paper towel before you dip the clean water. Yeah. Right. Very good. Yeah. Uh, always dip the water, reload the water. Okay. <laughs> Keep it. Reload the tip. Yeah. Yeah. You can adjust the tip shape. Yeah, the contrast could be stronger if you have a darker uh, gray. Because, uh, if it's too light, it's a kind of uh, blurry. Yeah, re reload the whole brush with a uh, dark gray. Then um, squeeze out the moisture from the on the tip with a paper towel, and then uh, load the clean water. Yeah, and then go. Just before you paint, do the. Yeah, yeah I like that the group. It has a um, very light to uh, dark gray. 
Yeah, you tried to get even darker ones to, to, to see how dramatic. You tried to uh, increase the uh, distance between dark and the light. Yeah. Okay. Try to get darker. Yeah, dip the water always. You can, uh, yeah, just reload a little water. Yeah. So the beginning could be very clean, uh, and uh, that gives a sense like a highlight. Yeah, almost like a highlight. Yeah, reload. Uh, it's very important to uh, forget about the old habit of uh, keeping the heel light. In this case, you need to have the heel dark than the tip. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. Very good. Looks translucent. Still pretty light. Yeah, you, uh, you can use darker one to uh, foil it out. If, if it's too light, use the next one to contrast. It's not. You can use uh, leaves to uh, to do the dark. So uh, it's good actually to keep the fruits relatively uh, light. Don't have to plant the fruits very three D kind of. Yeah. You could have two on the top, one on the bottom, the opposite uh, triangle. Yeah. Or you can have one on top, one. Yeah. Just the. Uh, Combine, yeah, that's good. Yeah. And the, yeah, some half one, that's a good one. See the magic of the uh, watermark. So the the brush you're using is a combination brush. Uh, it's good. Your favorite uh, calligraphy brush too. We just used it for stroke drill. That helps also. So. You notice the twist, right? Very good. Yeah, you can if you if you want to make it into a painting, just uh, make a smaller group uh, for this one. So you have a host group on the right and a guest group you're working on. You don't have to leave the center for the sand, just uh, leave a little hole, you know, that's all. You always reload the tip. Oh, right. Don't forget, every fruit. This yeah. is new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> reload the tip. Okay. Yeah, you can do two or three two, uh, before reloading, it's okay. Okay, it's really too yeah. much the same. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, actually you can uh, use a leaf to cover the uh, mounted fruits even. You can use a bigger stroke. Yeah, uh, you have a bigger, bigger brush for leaves. Uh, yeah, you can use the Darker ink. Uh, this time, just read, uh, load the brush regularly <laughs> with the light in the bottom, uh, in the heel, and the dark. And, and the you can also uh, touch a little. Uh, yeah, load the entire brush with light gray first. Right, and then uh, half brush with the darker gray, and then tip of very dark. Maybe. This is the exercise I just did. We are going to do the leaf. Yeah, look more. Uh, you want to avoid the the stripes uh, in the stroke, so you want to use uh, more ink and then. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
uh, you go first uh, very fast because the brush is really to be wet. When it's uh, drier, it goes slower. So you might start from the center of a, a leaf. So it doesn't matter. It's just nearest. Yeah, yeah. It's five strokes or three. Yeah. And then yeah. That's uh, no, normally we in grape we do five. So you can do four like uh, like that. Just a little hint for the, oh. the small one. Yeah. That's okay. I I can cut a leaf to show you what it looks like. Oh. I have grapes. Yeah. You can oh. just uh, oh, use them as a model. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This is still pretty dark. Okay, maybe too dark. You can use a paper towel to okay. try it. Um, another trick is uh, you can use clean water. Oh. To uh, kind of lighten it is a, like a vein. You can see the white oh. line there. It, it's see right. <laughs> that, that you can use a, yeah. You use lifted a, the color out. Yeah, you can just use water to do the the veins. That's a, another. Oh, that looks good. Uh -huh. Just use clean water. You can you can use the but this has to be dark if you do this. Mm -hmm. um, I just use the clean water to draw the veins to lighten the, the dark ink. That's uh, how magic this uh, paper is. Use the side stroke. Yeah. Slant the brush down. Yeah, good. Yeah. Keep it, just adding water. Keep adding water. No, no more ink. Just adding water to finish the other leaves if you need. Small one. Yeah, just half outside the frame. Cool. Yes. Okay. Now you can use a stiff brush to draw the vein, the vine. Okay. Ink all over. Uh -huh. You can use a uh, mountain horse or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Or wolf here. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. Tr try the bottom of the brush. Yeah. Try the bottom of the brush and then load the dark gray, then a little dark, dark than the leaf. Dark, but not too wet. Yeah. You can dry the brush if you need. Yeah. And then a little darker on the tip. Darker t yeah, good. Okay, now you can consider where to uh, start. You can start from uh, number two, because you one, two. So the graph goes like a uh, up and then uh, it's like a uh, opposite C move. Yeah. Okay. Should I do an angle or? Uh, doesn't matter. Just uh, just go up. Uh, you can go uh, all the way to this point, but you can have some uh, branches. Okay. But that's the that's uh, I only give you a direction. But you 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 yeah you figure out the the trunk. This part yeah it could be dry. Uh, mm, see, that's so bad. No, no, no. 
Uh, it's good. Uh, this this is called the cent tip cent centered stroke, right? Uh, if you like it to make it a little uh, uh, curvy, you can you can draw another line, line up on that with dark. So just change the combine the two, so you can have one crossing somehow, uh, have some uh, okay. lining, yeah, back and forth. Not always in the front. You can go. Okay. Actually, you could yeah, could have a void somehow. You can go, kind of go back and then turns. You know, it's like. A, oh, see what I mean? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not. Yeah. That's okay. Now. Yeah. Another one. Okay. And I'll try to overdo it. Uh, so this <laughs> no, one just go. Even. Yeah. Just go out. That's it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then continue the trend. Yeah. You can go behind the leaves now and uh, uh, go all the way outside the frame. Just go uh, from here, maybe. Just you forget about that. Just go continue there. Yeah. You don't have to trace all the way. Just hide it behind. Yeah, goes in now, come the, to the left. Perfect. Goes down. Yeah, just, just draw uh, the yeah, long line. Long, yeah, that's it for the lead. And then you can, uh, I would keep the line inside the frame somehow. Uh, you can just, you know, go, it depends on how uh, you want this to be. You have to keep this uh, gravity <laughs> against the, the weight. So it, you can show a little, right, okay. okay. Okay, then just go continue all the way to here maybe. Go straight. Yeah, that's good for the. You can do it with uh, later uh, with the details. Okay. Just continue this. Uh, goes down. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Standing and take it over uh, our look. Now it's good, right? Very, very good. Yeah. You, it's good to stand when you paint a large picture. Okay. Uh, yeah, now you can reload the brush with the uh, dark to draw uh, some veins on the leaf. Let me give you more ink here. And uh, uh, the stems for the fruit also in dark gray. Mm -hmm. Just three uh, uh, major veins. You don't have to draw the secondary ones. Okay. Fine. Yeah, good. Uh, use lighter one on the light ink, so you have to uh, try okay. it. But you can keep, uh, do, keep well, that. Do just do the do the uh, stems on the fruit. Yeah. Yeah. A little longer. Uh, you don't have to. Okay, that's good. Just do this uh, uh, in void area. You can use a palm to test if the what, uh, the paper is dry enough. If not, wait a little more <laughs> because it will smear. Okay. Yeah, you can use palm uh, your body temperature. No, no, no blocking. Okay. Just use your palm to dry it like a oh. iron. Yeah. Oh, okay. It no, will I dry faster. Than the yeah. Paper. yeah, it it just hold your palm there. It will uh, dry in a minute. But uh, you can do the other uh, parts. Uh, so if you have to, you can light the ink with. Okay. Uh, I can do the connections. Connections. Uh, it should be lighter. It's it should be lighter. Light. Okay. The principle is light, uh, lighter veins on lighter ink, uh, lighter ink base. Okay. Not uh, yeah, but don't have to wash all. Oh, okay, by the way, you can light here. Yeah. All right, good. just darker than the leaf will be good. Not too dark. Yeah. Okay. Just draw, define the veins on the leaf. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah, perfect. And then this one too. Right. You see, that's how nice Oops, it is. That is that's such perfect. a bad stroke. No, no, no. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> For All me, right. everything's just do a little stem, maybe connect that. So this one you don't have to, it's behind the, the thing. You don't have to do everything okay. you know, visible. It's behind that. I see. Um, Actually, I would like some uh, loose stroke, so it's not it's obscure, not not very defined leaf somewhere, just uh, to add density. Maybe uh, what do you think? Um, is 
Um, to me, these four leaves are too clear. Maybe we yeah, can. Yeah, they're one, uh, two, three, four, yeah. like little soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> we we can now. we can make uh, some uh, half leaves uh, just you know behind uh, mm -hmm. the group. Uh, the roots, uh, the grapes, you can use uh, uh, this brush. Should I do it for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, just a uh, very light ink. Uh, behind the, behind be, that one? Yeah, yeah. Be behind this and be also behind the fruits maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can just... Very loose, you don't have to oh, define. Okay. Yeah. So it goes up, just to <laughs> balance it. Yeah. Yeah, that's better, it breaks. Yeah, it's create still a, a little bit a dance, a dance part. You can you can have more. Uh, maybe uh, we already break this uh, frame, so we we won't keep that mm -hmm. inside the frame. Uh, you can you can have more. Just to hide this point, you know. You can just kind of. Okay, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Feeling, feeling, uh, mm -hmm. combine. Combine this group into a big group, so no, no one, two, right. three, four. Right. So this is not countable, <laughs> it's, a, it's a, a big yeah. cluster. Uh, we call it a dance, sparse, dance, sparse, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, host the guests. So this uh, part two, when it's uh, ready, you can, you can draw the stems and we'll be finishing. Before that, you can maybe but dot, dot. Uh, yeah, but very dark. Uh, and you said quick. Yeah, quick. Small, tiny dots, right on target, not to uh, hesitate. One on each, no more than the one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Give it, yeah. Okay. Round it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Keep it round. Oh, okay. Don't repeat. Don't fix it. Okay. Don't fix it. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, I like that. Uh, just uh, you want to use the same brush. You you, uh, you try it. You use a darker ink. Uh, let's see if it's dry enough. It's still damp, but uh, maybe if you use very dark ink, you, you can do it. Uh, keep the brush dry, yeah. Just uh, draw the stain. It's a, uh, right. It, yeah, three uh, stems, uh, and because you have three fruits, right? So you uh, basically do the, uh, like uh, this one will be, you know, something like that. Just uh, some long, some short. Okay. Let's see, should I fill in here? Yeah, just a thing. Uh, you can you can leave it to uh, open. Uh, we can fill in with more fruits if you want. Yeah, so try to keep it down, uh, not too horizontal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay. But they do have like like uh, you did, some uh, goes sideways, yeah. Not like uh, wisteria, definitely. So they have more horizontal than wisteria. Mm -hmm. Very suggestive. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. uh, just a few more and uh, and. Um, Right, good. Two, three, right. Mm -hmm. And this part. I like the, yeah, good. I like the curve, you know, going this way. Follow the trend. Not like straight down, it's good. Yeah. Do you think that's disconnected there? Um, you can, uh, you can use a fruit. To 
fill that in? So let me see. Do we have room for that? Uh, I, you know, uh, just leave it. Okay. Because uh, sometimes uh, that that uh, creates uh, some uh, interest for people to fill in. Uh, like uh, we only do seventy five percent. Yes. Uh, it's like I'm finished, but you know, uh, idea complete with absence of stroke. Sometimes when you define everything, you lose the momentum mm -hmm. that you had in the beginning. And then it's kind of boring. Yeah, yeah. This is more interesting <laughs> than complete. Uh, okay. As long as uh, the idea connects, you don't have to fill in the everything. Yeah. Uh, you can draw a little line with darker gray if you want, just on the two strokes. And, Maybe we can just leave it out, huh? I don't know. I kind of like just leave it, it the way leave it, it is. loose. Yeah, yeah, loose. It's kind of. Yeah, I like. Yeah, just. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, do you know how to sign your name in Chinese? No. And when <laughs> I do it, my Chinese friends say, "Do not do that again." Oh, okay. You ruined that picture. <laughs> okay. So okay. you have a seal. I brought my seal. Okay. <laughs> just uh, seal it. Yeah. I'll sign it for you. Then. <laughs> um, So I'll, I'll sign it for you. Uh, <laughs> and I know where you put this is very important. I'm just yeah. now getting onto that idea. Uh, uh, I think it's e uh, easiest. On this one, it just goes to here. But you, you do have to sign your name, Susan, right? And you just write. Uh, so you can copy next time. I'll just give you an idea. Okay. For Susan. Susan painted. Yeah, it's not a very artistic job. Well, it's, this is your first time doing grapes, right? Um, <laughs> Maybe not. I've done some colored ones, uh -huh. but I, I really like them with the ink. Okay, good. I reversed uh, these two articles, but sometimes you know, it's still readable. I can show you what I've painted. Um, okay.